Oh dear, it's awfully cold tonight. It's not usually this cold, but seeing as we're both up at 4am, even a forest can feel really chilly at this time of day. No, we mustn't start a fire. It's best if we just endure the cold. I'm sorry we got into this position, but for the purpose of my research, I don't want to have to fight anything. Once we're forced to fight, the mechanical crafts will send signals to alert the others. Then, the whole research will be a mess. I won't have the right data to analyze my hypothesis. So let's just tough it out, okay? Just a few more hours, then I'll be done collecting data. Not too many out at this time of day. Perhaps the changes in Sumeru have a hand in their reticence. A possible theory, but inconclusive as of yet. Uh, traveler, your sniff was so loud. I'm sorry, would you like to put your hands in my tail? It's really chilly, and I would feel terrible if you get sick when we return later. My tail is pretty fluffy. It's like a blanket. Or at least, that's what Kole told me when she last tucked her hands in. Hmm? Oh, yeah, Kole has done so before. She used to be quite stubborn about trying to come out and help me conduct my research. Though after a while, she realized her limits were causing us both trouble. And after that, she stopped pestering. Now that you're my research partner, I don't want you getting sick on my behalf either. So go on. Just tuck your hands in. There is no need to be shy. Look, doesn't it look super warm and fluffy? <laughs> You're so flustered. I thought you liked running around flirting with a bunch of people. But here you are, getting your pants in a bunch because I offered my tail to keep you warm. <laughs> No, I insist. I'll stop teasing you once you get your hands warm. Mm. That's more like it. Feels nice, doesn't it? Be careful not to grab on any tufts of fur, though. If you grab too roughly, it might hurt me and I'll make a noise that startles the research subjects. Oh, yeah, my tail's pretty sensitive. You need to be super careful, actually. But from what I've seen, you're a really gentle person. You handle people and objects alike with tenderness. Were it anyone else? I wouldn't think of letting them anywhere near my tail. Uh, even Kole, with how much of a klutz she is, I was rather hesitant to let her, but I felt I had no other choice. With you, though, I feel safe to do so. And you already look a lot warmer. <laughs> or is it that getting so close to me embarrasses you, and that's why you're all flustered? <laughs>
me not acting like myself? What? Can a researcher have some fun once in a while? All this data collection can get terribly dull, I'll have you know. I much prefer the analysis bit. That's where the real fun begins. Samples, control groups, bleh. That's why it's nice to have a companion like you help me pass the time. It'll be morning before you know it. And the warm sun will be upon us. You'll never need the warmth of my tail again. <laughs> Look at you. Your face is so honest with your feelings. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll stop. <laughs> so cute. Mm -hmm. You never hear me say things like that with anyone else? Well, I... Mm -hmm. Hey, why are you turning this around to me? Thinking you can gain the upper hand, do you? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not going to be so easily faced. If I were... I wouldn't be able to handle all the hundreds of fools who run amok at Gandharvaville all day. But, to answer your question, yes, I don't say these things to anyone else. Want to know why? Because they simply do not find anyone cute. Anyone? Except you. <laughs> I guess that's all I need to say to keep your mouth shut. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to focus on my data. Talking to you is becoming way more distracting than I ever thought it would be. 